Biological diversity, or biodiversity as it is more commonly known, is the variation of life forms within a given ecosystem, possibly even the whole world. From elephants and trees hundreds of metres tall, to bacteria and microscopic insects, biodiversity plays a vital role in the existence of the human race. 2010 has been declared the International Year of Biodiversity, a year to celebrate the value of biological diversity to life on Earth. The International Year of Biodiversity is meant to help raise awareness of the importance of biodiversity through activities and events in many countries around the world. Today we are going to go a little bit deeper and explore the world of plants. Plants play a vital role in the survival of many species. Plants are used for foods for both animals and humans. Plants provide fuel, clothing or even shelter. Plants are also used in the making of many medicines, from ginger and peppermint to chamomile, lemongrass and garlic. Plants are used in many different medicinal formulas for many different reasons, and without these medicines it would make it very difficult for a number of people. For example, ginger helps ease nausea after chemotherapy, and peppermint helps to cure irritable bowel syndrome. Imagine what we would do without these types of medicines and many others too. As mentioned before, food plays a vitally important role in the existence of our race. Without food, we would die from a loss of nutrients in our body. Many types of food that we eat come from plants, including cereals, which come from maize, wheat, or rice, vegetables, spices, certain fruits, nuts and herbs or even edible flowers are all foods that come from plants. Drinks produced from plants include coffee, tea, wine, beer and other alcoholic drinks. Sugar, cooking oil and food additives are all made from plants and livestock such as cows, pigs, sheep, chickens and goats which can all be turned into meat are entirely fed with cereal plants and grasses. Without plants we would be left without fruit, veggies and any animal that feeds off of plants e.g. chickens, cows, pigs, sheep or goats. Another use that we have for plants is the making of clothes. Much of our clothing comes from the plants found in nature. Cotton is the most used fibre in the manufacturing of clothing. Cotton grows around the seeds of the cotton plant. It is a thin, breathable fabric that is good for wearing in the warmer weather. Another popular use of plants is the making of paper. Approximately 300 million tonnes of paper is used each year across the world. That is equivalent to 60 trillion pieces of paper. Each piece has its own individual purpose. Before the first manufacturing of paper in the 2nd century AD by the Chinese, the Chinese wrote on silk sheets. And many thousands of years before that, the Egyptians wrote on papyrus which is derived from the papyrus plant. Paper is much cheaper to make than sheets of silk, and paper is also much easier to make than papyrus, which involves hours of banging together strips of papyrus and forming only a few sheets. Paper is used for education, e.g. tests and worksheets, and paper is also used for entertainment, such as books or magazines. Since the beginning of humanity, plants have been used for shelter. Wood is a sturdy material 
and is good for protection against harsh conditions. Whether it be a complex construction, like this log cabin, or a small shelter built by someone stranded in the middle of nowhere, plants are extremely useful in the construction of shelter. A very common use of plants is for fuel purposes. Green plants that lived on the earth long ago are the origin of coal, oil and gas which today are used for both cooking and heating purposes. Compression and heat over time have converted these plants into fossil fuels. The most ancient form of fuel is wood. Wood is burnt to create heat and warmth. Possibly the most important part that plants play in our lives is the process of turning carbon dioxide into oxygen. We survive by breathing in oxygen, but when we breathe out, we turn the oxygen in our lungs into carbon dioxide. Plants, in particular trees, turn the carbon dioxide that we have produced back into oxygen. This process is called photosynthesis. Biodiversity has made the world the beautiful place that it is today. All the harmful things that we do to the environment will hit us the hardest. Our whole race, all 6.8 billion of us, could perish at the click of Mother Nature's fingers. Why, in less than four months, from the 1st of January 2010 to the 15th of April 2010, 39,000 species have become extinct. Over six and a half billion tonnes of carbon emissions have been let into the atmosphere, and three million hectares of forest have been lost due to deforestation. We are the ones worrying about destroying the environment, yet we let this happen to our world. Look after our world and all the biodiversity within it. Keep our world healthy. Keep our world beautiful. Keep our world clean.